We have got this hat model named Jane, but she's still a, a bit pale and scary. Let's look at the model. This is Jane, and um, we are going to apply some textures to her to make her look a little bit more healthy. First, we're going to get rid of these scary blank eyes, um, and to see them better, we'll select the head and hit Ctrl H to make the head disappear, so we're left with just the eyes. Hitting A to zoom in. Let's do this eye first. In order to apply a texture, it needs a shader. If I were to apply the texture to this default shader, it would show up everywhere. So let's go to our rendering tab and choose one of these shaders. And we'll go for a simple Fong uh, in this case. This will get you the material properties in the attribute editor. And we are first going to assign a texture to the color of the eye. And we'll tick the little checker box, which will bring up the create render node window. We want a 2D texture, and that should be a file. But before clicking that, we will check our options if include placement with textures is selected. We do not want that, we want to use UVs to place this texture. So don't include placement with textures, 2D textures, file. And click on it. You get file number 5 in this case, and it needs an image name. You need to select the image. Click on the little folder icon. We'll choose the I diffuse image that came with the scene. Um, diffuse is the usually the color channel, so it could also be called I color. There is the eye. We'll see that our eyeball actually turned black. That is, if I select it and look at the UV editor, there are no UVs assigned at this moment. So let's assign some UVs to this eyeball. Let's go to uh, in Polygon menu, go to Create UVs, and click on Planar Mapping, but select the Option box to um, get the options. We want to use the bounding box so it fits exactly around the eye, and we're going to project it along the Z axis, because that's the axis the eye happens to be looking at down. and we're going to say project. And there we go. The eye is now uh, textured. It's also textured on the back, but that's not a big problem because you're never going to see the back. So this is okay. We got the texture on the eyeball, um, but we got it on one eyeball and we also want it on the other one. It's now using the projector. We want to freeze the projection and we can do that by going to Edit, Delete by Type, Non-Deform History, and now it's uh, frozen into UVs. The other eye also needs that little eyeball on it. I noticed we didn't give it a name yet, so let's go back, select the eye uh, we, that we did put the material on, and you'll see there's a Fong on it, and we'll call that eye shader. So when we go to the other eye, we'll switch to object mode, select the eye, right click on it, go to assign existing material, and assign the eye shader to it. It again will turn black because there are no UVs available on the sphere yet. But we'll just repeat what we did to the other eye. We go to Create UVs, Planar Mapping, and we can just hit it because the options will it will keep the options from last time. And there we go. It's on the eye. To freeze these UVs, again, we'll go to Edit, Delete by Type, Non-Deform History, and the two eyes are now, if we go back to Object Mode, they look Fine. Well, 
they look fine, but there's no Jane. So let's get Jane back. Uh, we can do that by going to display, show, show last hidden. We didn't hide anything after her, so there she is. She looks a little bit less scary, but still kind of creepy. Next, we'll go and assign UVs to the head, but I'll do that in the next movie.